Cardiac Arrest Management AED. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to manage an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest by integrating patient assessment and management skills, CPR skills, and the usage of an AED. You arrive on scene by yourself and there are no bystanders present. You must begin resuscitation of the patient in accordance with current American Heart Association guidelines for CPR. You must physically perform one rescuer CPR and operate the AED, including delivery of any shock. The patient's response is not meant to give any indication whatsoever as to your performance in this skill. Please take a few moments to familiarize yourself with the equipment before we begin, and I will be happy to explain any of the specific operational features of the AED. If you brought your own AED, I need to make sure it is approved for testing before we begin. You will have 10 minutes to complete this skill once we begin. I may ask questions for clarification and will acknowledge the treatments you indicate are necessary. Do you have any questions? You respond to a call and find this patient lying on the floor. There are no bystanders present. Yep. The candidate takes or verbalizes appropriate body substance isolation precautions. Determines the scene and situation is safe. Attempts to question bystanders about arrest events. Hey, anybody know what happened? How long has he been here? Checks patient responsiveness. Hey, hey, you okay? The examiner informs the candidate the patient is unresponsive. The candidate assesses patient for signs of breathing. The examiner informs the candidate the patient is apneic. The candidate checks a carotid pulse. The candidate immediately begins chest compressions and requests additional EMS response. Can someone call 911 and give me an AED? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The candidate performs two minutes of high quality one rescuer CPR, ensuring adequate depth and rate, correct compression to ventilation ratio, allows the chest to recoil completely, provides adequate volumes for each breath, and minimizes interruptions of less than 10 seconds throughout. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. After two minutes of CPR, the patient is assessed and the second rescuer resumes compressions while the candidate operates the AED. Start CPR. Make sure you're doing good high quality CPR, please. The candidate turns on the power to the AED. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. The candidate follows the prompts and correctly attaches the AED to the patient. Flashing light. Right, stop the Don't candidate touch the stops CPR and ensures all individuals are clear of the patient during rhythm analysis. Shock advised. Alright, will you do charging. CPR for what's charging, please? Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Right. The candidate I'm ensures that now. all individuals are clear of the patient and delivers the shock from the AED. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear? Shock delivery. Immediately get back on the CPR. Pause. The candidate immediately directs the Begin rescuer CPR. to resume chest compressions. 